Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're doing an experiment. That's what I'm going to call it. I was recently on a radio show on WAMC's Food Friday, as I am every couple of months, with the greatest host of all, uh, Ray Graff. And uh, he's a buddy of mine and he's wonderful. Uh, and something came up. We get called in by different people. Uh, on the subject matter that we're talking about, and sometimes something a little bit extra. And somebody called in about a Maine confection from the state of Maine that is called the Needham. And maybe some of you have heard about it, and if you have, let me know. You know, uh, send me a note or something, because I'd love to hear about this uh, confection. It is a chocolate-coated potato and coconut confection. Because a lady called up and said, I got lots of potatoes in my garden. What dessert can I make with potatoes? And I never would have come up with this in a gazillion years. So we are going to be making Needhams. And if you look at them, and we'll make them, the great experiment, if you look at them and you think about the recipe once I give it to you, it's sort of like an almond joy without the joy. So there's no almond in them. Uh, it's chocolate, coconut, and potato, and then they're chocolate dipped, and we'll, we'll get to that. But before we get started, because you're not going to want to miss this one, before you get started, I'd like you to click that notification button. I really want you to become a subscriber. I don't want you to miss any of my tips or videos because they're awesome. And you are really going to enjoy this because we're going to be experimenting together, you and me, in my kitchen. Okay, so I took a potato. I cut it in cubes, I boiled it for whatever time it takes to actually put a fork through it and make it very, very tender. And I took half a cup of that potato, drained it, and if you have any extra, extra potato, feed it to your kids, put it in another recipe, use it for mashed potatoes. But this, these are cubed, very soft, boiled. Uh, half a cup of uh, potatoes. So I'm going to put them in a food processor. Just a hint of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon. If you want to leave it out, you can. And then I have one, uh, one half a stick or four tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. Okay. And I'm just going to whirl that around a little bit because I want the potatoes to get smooth. And then, you're not going to believe what we're going to add now. You're really not going to believe it. <laughs> you're not going to believe it. Because Ray and I, the host of this show, were like, what? They were developed by a man named George Needham in the 1800s. And they are a big hit in Maine. I never, well, we're going to find out, Maine. Uh, what what uh, what this is all about. So this is a pound, about four cups of confectioner's sugar. And I'm putting that in here. Now I did change one thing because I thought, you know, it's got coconut in it. Let me just sort of up the coconut profile and just add a little coconut extract. Otherwise, it's an authentic recipe. So let's see what happens. There's no baking involved in this. So you don't have to bake anything. You don't have to preheat your oven, nothing. So I have a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a teaspoon of coconut extract. I'm putting that in there. Now I'm gonna whirl this around. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. It's like sweet mashed potatoes. All right, so once we're done, oh boy, is that sweet mashed potatoes. Sweet mashed potatoes, baby. All right, so I'm going to take them, and I'm going to put them in a big bowl. So take your, your center out. See, it almost looks like it's very runny. <laughs> My videographer's going, oh. All right, so, you know, hold the phone. Give it a chance. Give it a shot. Be open-minded. We're open-minded. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. You can buy these on the internet, but aren't they 
looking so much better if you hand make them, huh? So you're gonna put that in here, and we're going to add two and a half cups or a seven ounce container of shredded coconut. Now, since this has like seven days worth of sugar in here, I would definitely try to get unsweetened coconut flakes if you can, and they're readily available in the grocery store. So two and a half cups or about a seven ounce package. All right, get that in there. I can smell the coconut, that smells good. Um, and we're gonna fold this in. And then I took a nine inch square baking pan. I sprayed it with nonstick cooking spray, lined it with foil, and then I sprayed it again. So we're gonna put, you know how potatoes, after you mash them, you have leftovers, and you put them in the, the refrigerator? They'll get firm. We want this to get firm. And then we're going to cut them into squares and chocolate dip them. If, if the uh, gods are with us, we'll see if this works. All right, so this is my pan. I'm gonna put these in here. And you can also do this in a nine by 13 inch pan. So it would be thinner. They would be thinner, but I wanna, I don't know. I thought I'd make a thicker confection. You can't call these a cookie. Would we call these a cookie? No. These are a confection. And that's what George Needham uh, made them. And I think they honored Mr. Needham for, uh, his service or whatever he did, um, but he is being remembered. Isn't that lovely? A legacy of uh, chocolate covered coconut mashed potatoes. We're thinking of you, Mr. Needham, wherever you are. <laughs> and we're going to evenly distribute these in my nine inch pan and they spread out very nicely. All right. Spread over, and you want to spread it in all corners, very, very even, very flat, because once it gets firm and the starch and the potato will firm it up, we will cut them in squares and dip them in chocolate and then let them harden, and then we can try one. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> if you could see the looks I'm getting, my videographer's like, like this. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, so I'm going in the fridge, and uh, we'll say a little, a little, little hopeful prayer, and uh, put them in the fridge until they're firm. If they don't get that firm, and they should, you can even put them in overnight. You can put them in the freezer for like 30 minutes. I'll see you back. So look at my Needhams. They firmed up beautifully. They're nice and hard, and I'm going to grab the foil on all four sides of my pan and gently lift them out onto a cutting board, okay? And I have a sheet pan here covered with wax paper and I'm in the process of melting some chocolate. So I melted some semi-sweet chocolate and then we're gonna dip them. It's gonna be a surprise. When we, uh, when we bite into them. So I'm gonna make them into little squares. Remember, they're confections. They're not really cookies. So they're more like a candy. And you can still bend them. They're not hard as a rock. But I am pushing down to cut them. And I'm pushing right down through the coconut. And you should get quite a few, uh, depending on how big you make them. I'm gonna make like, I don't know, one and a half inch uh, squares. Cut them as big or as little as you want. Okay. Uh, and it's not that hard to cut. Just giving a little muscle action. I'm going to move these over and I'm going to, because that's a bigger, a bigger section, I'm going to cut these. I might just sort of even these out on the edges. All right, and right now I'm melting chocolate. And what you want to do is get like a large fork or even a small, like a, a, not a salad fork, like a longer fork. And I make them about 
this big. You want to cut through all that coconut. Sometimes the coconut is, so this is what I'm doing. And if you see any coconut strands coming up, just push them in. Push them in, push them in. And then we are going to dip them in our chocolate. Um, and then uh, we will do it together when I melt my when I finish melting my chocolate. So my chocolate is melted, and you can melt, you know, a cup and a half uh, of semi-sweet chocolate. Some people do semi-sweet traditionally and unsweetened. A couple ounces of unsweetened chocolate mixed in with about one cup of semi-sweet. Do whatever you like, and these. Once they're chilled, you can also put them in the freezer for a short time because they may melt a little bit in the chocolate. So I'm going to throw them in there. I'm going to rotate them. And then they will melt. So time is of the essence. You know, they're not like a truffle, but you do want to make sure that you get them all coated. And then you want to wipe off the excess. I'm sure there's a, a Needham candy line that they, they do uh, in their shops. And you just keep going. These make about two and a half dozen, depending on how big you make them. Um, if you want them bigger, make them bigger. If you want them tinier, make them tinier. But they're, my videographer tried one. <laughs> she loved it. She loved it. We made a Needham believer out of her. She loved it. So you're going to put them on another um, wax paper lined sheet pan. And then I would store these in the fridge. I would store these in the fridge. And you can also use confectioner's coating, which does not need refrigeration. Uh, but I would keep these in the fridge because the Needhams will get soft. All right. The Needhams need to be refrigerated. So I'm going to continue. Um, I hope you become a subscriber, and I hope you make these Needhams. I actually think this experiment was a success. Trebia, excellent. So until next time.